Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with game four. Game four of the 2001 World Series in between the Diamondbacks and the Yankees. As I've said before, and it applies to this game, just like the other games, I am using the actual starting lineups from each team for each game and the actual starting pitchers from each game for each team. So, um, with that having been said, we're going to get underway. We will do the lineups as the teams come up. Right now, we are in Yankee Stadium still for Game 4. Um, Arizona is going to bat first, and they will be batting against Orlando Hernandez of the Yankees. This is his first appearance in this World Series. <clears throat> so, uh, we will see how that goes. Uh, the lineup for the Diamondbacks will be Tony Womack leading off and playing shortstop, Craig Council batting second, and playing second. Luis Gonzalez batting third and playing left field. In the cleanup spot it will be Eurebio Durazo as the DH. Batting fifth is Matty Williams and he'll play third base. Batting sixth will be Steve Finley, the center fielder. Batting seventh will be Reggie Sanders, the right fielder. And uh, he is batting seventh for a good reason. <laughs> I mean, at least in this series, he's only two for 12 with two runs scored. So Mark Grace, the first baseman, bats eighth. Again, for good reason in this series, he's two for 11. So I don't know if they were equally as pathetic in the uh, real series or not. And then Damian Miller is the ninth place hitter. He is... Uh, only got one hit in eight times up, but he did walk three times. So that is your that is your lineup, and uh, we will start with the Damian or not Damian Miller. We're going to start with Tony Womack. Now Tony Womack has two stolen bases in the series, also, and he is four for eleven. He gets a four eleven roll, and that is going to be a that is going to be a fly ball to center field the deep fly ball let's see f8 and he's out one away craig council is the batter he gets a five nine five nine left-handed batter and that is going to be a strikeout. Hernandez with his first K of the game and of the series for that matter. And with two down, Luis Gonzalez is up and he gets a 210 against a righty. And that is going to be an out. That is actually a pop out to shortstop. So the Diamondbacks get nothing in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. The lineup for the New York Yankees, and they will be facing the Shellmeister, Kurt Schilling. He comes into this uh, game 0-0, zero and zero, but he pitched seven innings in game one and allowed two earned runs. He didn't get the loss, but they did lose that game. The leadoff batter will be Derek Jeter at shortstop, Paul O'Neill, the right fielder, Bernie Williams in center, Tino Martinez will be the cleanup hitter and playing first base. Batting fifth will be Jorge Posada, switch hitting catcher. He is five for 11 this series with a double and a walk. <clears throat> um, David Justice is the DH batting sixth. Shane Spencer is in left field batting seventh. Scotty Brosh is not having a good series. He'll be batting eighth and he's one for 11 on the series so far with two walks. And Alfonso Soriano, the second baseman, bats last, but he is 6 for 12 with two runs scored, a double and a home run. So uh, he would think he would be batting a little higher. And that brings us to Jeter. Jeter is 6 for 14 with four runs scored and a home run in the series. And he gets a 5-7. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. That is Council. Council is a 2E4. That is a 6. I expect it to be an out. And it is. 
One away, four to three. That brings up Paul O'Neill. Paulie O'Neill. Paul, playing in only his second game of the series here. 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight. Five, eight is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And that brings up Bernie. Bernie Williams, the center fielder. Two down. Nobody on. And he gets a 2-10. And that's going to be a pop-out to first base. And no runs come across there. Now, as I've said before, I will be... Uh, actually, this may be the last game of the series that I play right after an actual game of the World Series, the commensurate uh, actual game, because this is game four, and game four of the real World Series of 2023 was last night, which the uh, uh, Rangers won by the score of, I believe, 11-7. to um, So, Eurebio Durazo is the batter. He gets a 3-5, and um, that is going to be a strikeout. And Hernandez strikes out his second guy, one away. Matty Williams gets a 1-10. 1-10 is a ground ball second base. He is out, 4-3. And that brings up Steve Finmeister Finley. I just like to make up names. 3-7 is a fly ball to center field. So he flies out to the center fielder. And the Diamondbacks get nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. And Tino Martinez will be the leadoff batter of that inning. He gets a 2-7. And that is going to be a ground ball to second. One away. Jorge Posada, he gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a home run. So Jorge Posada hits his uh, first home run of the series and gives the uh, Yankees a 1-0 lead here. That is the first hit allowed, too, by uh, Kurt Schilling. First base runner, even. David Justice gets a 1-6. That's going to be a ground ball to short, so there's two away. And Shane Spencer is up. And he gets a 6-8. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball second base X. Second baseman for the Yankees is a 3-E-20. And that is a 4 so let's see what four and three is. That's going to be a single. So, or wait a minute, for the uh, Diamondbacks. No, he's a two E4, so that's an out. So he goes out four to three. And the Yankees get a run there. They take a one nothing lead. We go to the top of the third. Still a good game, though. Reggie Sanders is the batter. He gets a 6-10, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the Yankees is a 3-E-4. That is a 5. And that is going to be a pop-out. So let's see here. Pop-out to two. Mark Grace is up. He gets a 1-8. That is going to be a strikeout. And Hernandez has struck out his third guy. And he hasn't allowed any hits yet. Mark Grace gets a 1-8 and that is a ground ball to the pitcher. Wait a minute. No, that was Damian Miller. Gray struck out. Damian Miller got a ground ball back to the pitcher. Um, one to three, and the Diamondbacks go quickly in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. We're moving right along. Scott Brocious is the batter. Not having a good series, as I mentioned earlier. He gets a 5-11, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. The left fielder for the Diamondbacks is a 3-0. Three, uh, three e and that is a 19. 
19 and 3, and that will uh, be a fly ball. One away. Alfonso Soriano is up. And as I mentioned in the opening, he is having a very good series. And he gets a 2 8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's out right there. And Derek Jeter is the batter. He gets a 5 9. And 5-9 is going to be a strike. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, it's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Shortstop is a 3-E32. <clears throat> that is a 6. So let's see. 6 and 3, that's a ground ball. So he's out. And the Yankees get nothing in the third. We move along, moving right along to the top of the fourth in a one nothing game with Tony Womack, the leadoff hitter here. He gets a 2-2, and that's going to be a line-out max to second base. One out, and Craig Council is the batter. He gets a 3-6. That is going to be a line-out to first base. Oh, okay. And Luis Gonzalez is the batter. And he gets a 6-9. And 6-9 is going to be a fly ball right field. F9, no runs come in for the Diamondbacks in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. With Paul O'Neill up. And he gets a 6-7. And that's going to be a strikeout. And that's Schilling's. That's the Schillmeister's first strikeout. Bernie Williams comes up. He gets a 1-3. That's going to be a ground ball first base. So he's out. And Tino Martinez is the batter. This game is moving at a brisk pace. 4-8 is going to be... A home run! Tino Martinez goes deep to give the Yankees their second run. And based on how this game has gone, that might just be insurmountable. But what do you think? Is it? I don't know. Jorge Posada is the batter. He gets the 3-6. That's going to be a single. And that's the third hit given up by the Schillmeister. The other two, unfortunately for him, were home runs. And that's a 3-8. That's a single to right field. They will stop the runner. At uh, That's Posada. He's not much of a runner. So they'll stop him at second. Fourth hit allowed by Schilling. And Shane Spencer is up. He gets a 1-12, which is a line out to the shortstop. So uh, the Yankees get another run. As we go to the top of the fifth, and they have a two-run lead. It's 2 nothing, actually. And Eurebio DeRazzo, the DH for the Diamondbacks, is the batter. He gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a single. So he gets the first hit for the Diamondbacks off of Orlando Hernandez El Duque. Matt Williams is up. He gets a 3-11, and that is going to be a out. That's going to be an out. That's going to be a line out to second. Steve Finley comes up. He gets a 3-8. That's a ground ball, second base, A, and that is the end of the inning. And the Diamondbacks, again, score nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Scotty Brocious is the batter. He gets a 1-9, and that's going to be a fly ball to left field, one away. Alfonso Soriano gets a 3-6. That's a strikeout. That is Schilling's second strikeout of the game. 
And Derek Jeter, the captain, gets a 6-9. And 6-9 is going to be a single. So Jeter is aboard with a base hit. Fifth hit allowed by Schilling. And Paul O'Neill is up, and he gets a walk. So now the Yankees have two guys on with two outs. Got a little bit of a threat here going. That's the first walk issued by Schilling this game. And Bernie Williams up, and he gets a 1-9. And that is going to be a walk to load the bases. The Yankees have loaded the bases up. And I put this in the wrong column again, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, uh, Tino Martinez. It's all up to Tino Martinez, and he gets a 4-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So, he leaves them loaded on Schilling's uh, third strikeout of the game. Uh, no runs come in, although the Yankees did seriously threaten there, the two-out rally. But it fell a little bit short. We're going to the top of the sixth with... Um, Reggie Sanders up. And he gets a 6-3. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. The left fielder for the Yankees is a 2-E3. That's an 11. That is going to be on his card, but it's an E3. That is a 9 and that is going to be a fly ball B. So one out. Brings up Mark Grace. He gets a 5-10. And that is going to be a, an out. That'll be a fly ball to right, to away. And Damian Miller, the catcher, is up. 2-7 for him is a strikeout. No runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. 2 nothing Yankees. Jorge Posada gets a 4-11. 4-11 would be a... Uh, that is going to be a fly ball, deep fly ball to center field. One down, and that brings to the plate David Justice. He gets a 2-6, that's going to be a strikeout. Schilling strikes out his fourth guy. There's two down here really quickly for the Yankees in the sixth. Shane Spencer's up. He gets a 2-6. That's a strikeout. Another strikeout for the Schillmeister. No runs come across in the sixth for the Yankees. We go to the top of the seventh. We've got Tony Womack batting. He gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. Hernandez strikes out his fifth guy. Has only allowed one man on base, and that was a single. 3-5 is a ground ball to second base for Council. Council continues to have a dismal series, and that brings up Luis Gonzalez. They need something. they got to get a little bit of a spark here somehow. 4-7 is going to be a walk. Maybe that's the spark. They get a walk by Gonzalez. That's only the second man Hernandez is even allowed on base. And Uribeel Durazo comes up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. And that is going to be a home run. Uribeel Durazo ties the game just that quickly. Let me make sure of that. Yes, indeed, that is exactly what happens. Yes, so, Uribeel Durazo with a two-run home run. 
has tied the game. Hernandez gives up only a second hit. And Matt Williams is the batter. And he gets a 2-4, and that's a foul out to third. But just when you thought the Diamondbacks were dead, they come back from the dead and tie the game. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh in a tied-up ball game. Scott Brocious gets a 6-4. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Matt Williams. Matt Williams is a 2-E-15. That's a 9. I'm going to guess it's an out. It's good. No, we got to roll on the uh, error rating. That is a 7 on an E15, and that's a ground ball A. So, Brocious is out 5 to 3. Soriano is the batter. He gets a 4 4. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. That's going to be Finley. So he's a 1-E-3. That is a 3. Probably an out. Yep. Fly ball. And Derek Jeter is the batter. And he gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. No runs for the Yankees in the seventh. Oh, yeah, let's see. And we go to the top of the eighth. Diamondbacks up in the top of the eighth with Steve Finley and... There will be a pitching change. They're going to take Orlando Hernandez out. He's already pitched seven innings. They're going to bring in Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton in 2001 pitched 80 innings and had a 258 earned run average with a 9 and 4 record. And he's a lefty. And Steve Finley will be the first guy that faces him. He gets a 4-10. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Jeter. Jeter is a 2-E-17. That is a 9. Very likely an out. Or really roll the dice for the air. <laughs> 7 on a 17 is... A ground ball A, so that's one away. Finley goes six to three. Reggie Sanders is up. He gets a one seven. That is going to be a. Uh, that's going to be a fly ball to right. And that brings up Mark Grace. And Mark Grace gets a 5-3. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 3 E36. Uh, and that's a 16. 16 and 3. Nope, it's going to be on his air rating. And he's an E36, so that ain't good. And that is an E1. So Grace is on by an error by the pitcher. And Damian Miller is the batter. And he gets a 3-8, and that's a pop out to your wait a minute. That is a fly ball to right. So the Diamondbacks get no runs in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. In a 2-2 game, Schilling, you know what? Schilling was made, he was cut from a different cloth, so he's going to stay out there. Paul O'Neill is up, and he gets a 4-5, and that's going to be a strikeout.
That is the sixth strikeout for Schilling. Bernie Williams comes up. He gets a 4-8. That is going to be a single. Yeah. So Bernie Williams with a hit. Schilling allowing his sixth hit of the game. Tino Martinez is up. He gets a 3-9. That is going to be a ground ball second base C, but that'll move the runner to second. And up steps Posada, the catcher. And he gets a 5-9, and he's batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Womack, who isn't good. He's a 3E20. Uh, e no, wait a minute. He is a 3E32. 3E32, but that's a 5. He might still be out. He is. So, Posada grounds out to short, 6-3. We're going to the top of the ninth with Tony Womack, the leadoff hitter for the Diamondbacks as the batter. Stanton is still out there, and he gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a fly ball left. Craig Council comes up. He gets a 2-6. And 2-6 is going to be a fly ball. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's going to be a double. It's a double because he's a lefty. Nice. Council ripping a double, and he needed that to revive his series here. Stanton gives up his first hit. There's a man at second with one down. And Luis Gonzalez, the batter, and he gets a 6-10. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. The center fielder for the Yankees is a 2-E-2. That is a 20. I'm going to guess it's an out. And that's a fly ball C, two away. Which brings up Eurebio Durazo, who is the man of the hour, who tied this game. And he gets a 2-11, and that's going to be a hit by... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, it's going to be a ground ball C. Ground ball C. First, uh, the first base. Yeah. No runs come in for the Diamondbacks. So here we go. We're in the bottom of the ninth. If the Yankees score a run, that's that. Schilling is still out there. David Justice gets a 6-5. And a 6-5 is going to be good for a strikeout. Schilling strikes out his seventh guy of the game. Shane Spencer gets a 5-9. And that's going to be a ground ball short. He is a 3-E something bad. Let's see what that is. <laughs> Seven and a three at shortstop. Yeah, he makes the play anyway, two away. And uh, Brocious is the batter. And he gets 3-4, and that is going to be a double. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's a home run. It's a, just a plain home run. Brocious has won the game on the last batter. Unbelievable. Oh, wait a minute. No, it, no, he didn't. No, he did not. No, no, I stand corrected. I was thinking I keep going back between righty and lefty. No, but it is a double. So it is a double for Brocious. He does not tie the game. But he does, he is, does have a guy. There is a guy at second with Soriano up. And Soriano has had a great series. And he gets a 2-8, but that's a fly, that's a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. to three. I almost gave a win to the Yankees that they didn't really deserve. We go to the top of the 10. <laughs> now Stanton is going to come out. Stanton pitched two innings. He did rather well for that two innings.
And they're going to bring in Jay Witasik, the Yankees are. Jay Witasik in 2001 was 8 and 2 with a 330 earned run average in 79 innings. And Matt Williams is the batter that's going to greet him here in the 10th inning. And we're off the charts here, so 6-6. Six, six. And that's going to be a strikeout. Matt Williams with the K. Steve Finley is the batter. He gets a 2-7. That is going to be a single. So Finley is aboard. Let's look at his stealing. He was getting older at this time. He's a stealing B. They're going to leave him at first base. They're not going to let him try to steal. Reggie Sanders gets a 1-6. That's a strikeout. Wait a minute. What is Wittasic? He is a righty, so it is a strikeout. I'm going to get confused on that again. So, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, Sanders. All right, so how did he get on? I'll just say a single strikeout. Mark Grace is the batter. Mark Grace gets a an out. That's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And Arizona comes up with nothing in 10th. So we're going to the bottom of the 10th with Derek Jeter. Up and Schilling is out. Schilling went nine innings. That's going to be it for him. Chilling cards. Brett Prinz will come in. Brett Prinz in two thousand one was four and one with a two sixty three earned run average in forty one innings pitched, and he is a righty. And Derek Jeter, the leadoff hitter, is the guy that's going to greet him here in the 10th. And he gets a 5-2. And that's going to be a single. Or no, this is the 11th, top of the 11th. Prinz allows a hit to the first guy he faces. Paul O'Neill is up. He gets a 1-6. That's a strikeout. One away. Bernie Williams gets a 6-9. 6-9, he would be batting left. And that's going to be a walk. So the Yankees have two guys aboard here. A little bit of a threat going. Tino Martinez is up. He gets a 6-5. That is going to be bad. It's very, very bad. That is going to be a home run. It's a three-run home run, and we're all going home. So they get the Yankees get three runs in the eleventh, and they win this game in uh, flashy fashion by the score of five to three. The loss will go to Pre Brett Prins, and uh, who only pitched two thirds of an inning, and the win goes to Jay Witasik. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, sign out.